Welcome back to Empress Radio, where we do trending topics in reality TV and live streams. So join us now. Do you need to build your YouTube channel or do you have a business or website that you need to rebrand? Well, join us now at Empress Consults at www.empressconsults.com or hit us up on Instagram at Empress Radio. Okay, so enjoy the video now. Hey, you guys, we're live, so giving you a few seconds to come in. All right, we're live. Hey, everyone. So we're not going to be on here long because it is late, especially I'm sure it's very late in Huntsville and Atlanta and stuff where you guys mostly are. But in LA, it's 845. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with the content. So it looks like there might be problems in Paradise with Mar Martell and Arion because after Martell was allegedly, you know, he said that he wasn't in the psych ward or whatever, but there were rumors or whatever. And then Arion Curry had went live and she was saying like, like, it looked like people were saying she was, like, fishing for, like, where Martel was at. Like, saying, like, oh, um, uh, you guys are quiet tonight. Or, you know, just, like, what do you guys, you know, tell us to tease us, you know. But she also said that Martel um, definitely wasn't in the psych world, word. And then he came out today and he said it wasn't true as well. But after that, I don't know if, Mar if Arianne liked the fact that he was at Mariah's game or, like, what? Like, what was the problem, you know? Because she's calling him out. So she has this to say. She says... Gotta put your kids first in real life, not just for the internet. So, yeah, she's saying that he, I guess he hasn't been seeing Baby Nuts allegedly or what? Because she is mad that he's not, you know, seeing Baby, you know, she's mad for some reason, you know, saying that she ha he has to put his uh, the kids first, you know, and not just on the internet. So, I don't know. A lot of people think that this is ca calling out Martel because, like, who else is she talking about, you know? Um, so, I'm going to play what Martel had to say here. My little girl, Melanie. She's picked up from school for me because I got Mariah and Malia. They got practice today. Tennis practice. So what's up? How y'all been? Y'all yeah, know it's been a while. It's been a long time. I've been, um, I've been just straight chilling. Listen, just because I ain't been old, don't think I ain't been moving now. For real. It just, it feel good not having to you know, you know, appease anybody. So I just been chilling. <laughs> Somebody said I'm out on the center. Girl, hey, stop that. Stop that. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, that's why I came live because I heard that um, I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be in some type of facility or something. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Um, honestly, apparently it was real. It's really serious because uh, my sister, my girl, Destiny, she called me, and I didn't answer a couple times. I, I returned a call, and she was she was crying. She was literally crying. She thought that I was um, in a like a mental institution or something like that. Guys, no, I am not crazy. So listen, stuff that y'all hear, don't go for it. Don't go for it, Lord. And yes, I'm, I'm okay. I'm good, though. And I'm literally going live just, I don't know, so y'all can know that I'm good. I'm not in no psychiatric ward or whatever. I saw uh, somebody sent me a little picture. I was in like a little, a little straight jacket or something like that. I'm like, oh, Lord, they doing me so wrong. I wish um, I wish the, the bloggers, the bloggers, to really um, 
Stop doing those things, honestly. You know, I know you. Get, I know they get paid off of it. And can y'all hear me well? And I ain't got no hand with this hat. Nope. There's Mariah's um, coach right there. I'm trying to get Mariah straight. But listen, back to what I was saying in terms of the vloggers and the vloggers and um, other people out there that, um, like, I'm a whole father, whole father of five. You know, a lot of things that, that you guys, or that they, that they say, um, you know, that, that, that affects, that affects certain things that I have going on, that affects even, even money, food that I put on my kids' table, you know? I've been a father since day one, and that's 12 plus years. I've been a great father. And like, being like here at this tennis facility, you know, um, my daughter, Mariah, she, um, I signed her for a, a tennis tournament this past weekend. We was just there. My son, he had a baseball game here in Huntsville the same time Mariah had her tennis tournament. Um, Melody took Martell to the baseball game, and I took Mariah um, Saturday or whatever. And All right, so you guys heard that. Well, evidently, Ariane Curry didn't like this live. I don't know what it is, but she's calling him out, you know? So she said, like I said, got to put your kids first in real life, not just for the internet, you know? So I don't know. It's been like, like I said, trouble in paradise. Like this is the same person who's constantly trying to get on the show and stuff, you know, calling out the producer saying, you know, I'm not even trying to get on your show. I want y'all to stop discussing me and using my likeness because y'all won't let me film. Like she's just obsessed with getting on the show. And since the show is coming back on soon, it's pretty much on par for her to be, you know, causing a stir online. Like maybe Martel was getting too much press and now she wants the press. I don't know. Like I said, it looks like there's trouble in paradise. Like maybe they're beefing. Um, maybe she didn't like that he disappeared. Maybe she thought he was in the psych war and he was with some woman or something. I don't know what's going on with this situation, you know. Uh, she said, I don't be in nobody business. Shit, my own business is too much for me. Like, yeah, just doing the most. Like, remember, she was, like, alluding to the revenge plot situation. That's why I wouldn't want my kids around her, you know, saying that Melody allegedly was um, say, saying, oh, how you call me a hoe, but you were a married woman in the hotels sucking peen and not your husband's. I will start naming names. And she knew the whole time that that was Martel's peen or whatever that she was talking about. Here, she was just saying that, um, uh, so someone said, would you have done things differently from the way you are portrayed on the show. I can't read the small thing. Let me see. No, the show is going to portray me as wrong. I can't see that. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see if I could zoom in. The show is going to portray me as wrong any way they want to because they are trying to keep up with a false storyline regardless of what I did they are going to name me the villain knowing that's not real life that's what she said sorry it's really small and I'm trying to read on my phone and then she said they want rating something women can relate to they get more women who can relate to their husbands cheating in denial than what's really going on he fell in love with a young fly chick he couldn't resist nobody wants to hear that but Y'all want to see that BS, fake lies, drama makes good TV, and y'all tuned in. So where is this cocky version of Arian, you know? Now she's over here calling him out, talking about, <laughs> today she's talking about, um, got to put your kids first in real life, not just for the internet. So I don't know if she's calling him out being a bad parent or something like that, you know, saying that he doesn't really do anything for his kids except for when it's for like a, a Photoshop or on internet, you know, um, so she says, dang, Empress is back and in full force. I usually am asleep, but happened upon this follow-up after Marty Mars Live. You know, I was going to just wait till tomorrow, but I was like, somebody else is going to hop on it before I even wake up. Because you guys know you're three hours ahead or whatever. So I was like, I'll hop on it right now. And, you know, maybe it'll get more views in the morning, you know. So um, Melody had them girls in tennis yesterday and last week and tank soccer or baseball game. He hasn't done anything. So that's what um, Ariana's saying. Maybe she's tired of him putting on for the gram or for, you know, like for the live acting like he's a great parent. 
Um, and maybe she's on Melody's team, like, oh, Team Melody, maybe uh, she don't want uh, custody of the kids or whatever. So she's like, I'm going to just put this out here that you aren't a good parent like you portray, you know. And she does that when she's mad at him, you know. Once she's mad at him, then he's the worst. But when she's um, when they're good, it's like, he's my man and I'm going to stick beside her. I'm tired of all this nonsense they putting out, right, <laughs> exactly. Knowing them, they're probably not even beefing, just looking for attention, you know. Um let me see if I have any more screenshots before I go that I can actually read that are, I don't think, the rest of them are just so small. But anyways, that's all I had to uh, say. I wanted to just come in, um, come in and show you guys really quick what she had to say. I knew Martell's Daddy of the Year act was just that, an act, right? He's talking about, oh, I've been a father for a long time now. I'm a good parent. Like, yeah, right. Shut up, Martell. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> Martell looks bad, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He looks worn out. And you know, they say women hit the wall at 30. But Martel is, what, 43, something like that? And he just looks worn out. And that's how a lot of men look, like, after they lose a good thing, you know? Like, he had his whole family that he ruined for Arianne Curry. Now he's stuck with her, you know? Like, he, like he just, like, you know, tries to... I don't know. I don't know nothing about their relationship. But it looks like they're having... Um, a spat right now you know so like she said gotta put your kids first in real life not just for the internet you know so that has to be for martel because who else she can't be saying it's for melody you couldn't possibly you know but yeah anyways what do you guys think about this it's non-stop bs y'all yeah it is it is um that's why i was like let me come to you guys tonight get this out of the way and then i can have the rest of the night to myself because it's nine o'clock so i'll probably be up for a few more hours oh my god so this is besides the point if you guys want to go but um i've been watching love island how come no one told me it's so good <laughs> i know everyone's been talking about love island for years now and i've been binging the usa version and that's what i was watching before i got this tea in my inbox about um Martel, I was watching Love Island, the first season of USA. So I tried to watch the UK. I know that's the main show my brother said, but I couldn't get into the UK. But the USA is really good. And it has like, it has a pretty diverse cast. Like if you guys only want to see black people, there's some black people there, you know. I feel like personally, the black men kind of treat black women on these reality shows a little mean. And then I'd be like, feeling the type of way. Like, why are you trying to make the black woman the undesirable? Like the black man will try to go for the other races and the other races don't be one of the black women either so it's just like i don't like that part of it but it's an interesting little show i like it <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna go back to doing that and you know hanging out with the baby and stuff about to um we have some chicken in the oven so that's probably gonna be i'm so dumb i like i was checking on the chicken and i turned the oven off and then put the chicken back in and then for 30 minutes i forgot to um put the oven back so anyways um now it's later and i'm waiting for that to be done but other than that like i said i'm just watching love island so that's all i'm doing right now <laughs> um she was mad because he didn't come to her he went right to the kids games oh that's probably he's, she's like i haven't seen you and you went straight to the games and not to me and she's used to being the center of attention or whatever i don't know you know she is like that like all, you know she reminds me of she reminds me of what lexi said i just thought about that did anyone else anyways about how lexi described Nell fletcher as like like you know she just wants martel to herself like focus on her kid but not on the uh, melody's kids and stuff like that because she just wants to act like her family is the only family and like maybe that's why she's probably trying to sabotage the court case like say little things like oh um you're not really around your kids except for on the internet or something like so maybe that's what's going on but yeah <laughs> enjoy your night empress and relax yes love island is binge worthy oh my mom my mom is like way past me we just started and i'm on episode like 16 and she's on another season already <laughs> so but anyways all right you guys that's all that i have to say so what do you guys think about this drop your comments below hey and don't forget to like comment subscribe for more videos from empress radio okay bye